Hey guys, we're in Moncton with some St. John folk. I have Mike Baker in the back, and uh, before we get started, who'd you bring along with you? This is my good friend uh, Grant Heckman, who plays uh, lead guitar in the band and is uh, sucked into a variety of unusual and uh, titillating circumstances musically with me. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. Can you just maybe give us the the twenty second Wikipedia entry? <coughs> right right on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, the great thing about Wikipedia is that there's no guarantee it'll be correct. Yeah. So I can just basically say whatever I want, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm an East Coast kind of roots rocker, country rocker guy. I won an ECMA a couple of years ago. Won a Music New Brunswick Award and uh, recently released an album that uh, we've got some singles going out to radio, uh, country radio across the, the nation. Mm -hmm. And um, you've had some success on the uh, songwriting front too. Yeah, uh, I uh, <clears throat> have had the chance to write with a couple of uh, really quality writers uh, and uh, one of whom is Chris Cummings, mm -hmm. who's a well-known uh, country uh, performer and writer, has had a lot of hits over the years in Nashville and in Canada. And he and I had advanced a song to the uh, international songwriting competition, and we're, we were semi-finalists in that, and, and uh, so it's going well. We actually had a, and we had a song uh, I wrote with another fellow named Larry Wayne Clark. Yeah. Uh, a lot of tunes with Larry, and Larry was well known. He lived in Nashville for many years, and has written for uh, a long list of very, very famous, well-known people. Oh yeah, for sure. And uh, whenever he'd rattle them off, he would never mention my name in the list, though. So anyway. <laughs> But he and I wrote a song that got shortlisted on a, a, a Winona Judd album. It almost got on the album. It didn't. But I'll still claim it as a feather in my cap. Sure. So. <laughs> we'll pretend it did. She she sat with the producer in the studio and listened to my song. So well, there you go. That's good enough for me for now. <laughs> so um, this is the uh, your latest album that you're kind of touring yes, around with? Yes, feels like now. Yeah. Can you... Uh, briefly tell me a bit about this album sure uh well it's on uh my record label is called busted flat records okay. and uh they're out of uh kitchener waterloo and basically uh feels like now is a a, a full production full band album of uh country rock you know roots rock stuff mm -hmm. i mean there's some it runs the gamut i think of uh modern sounding kind of uh, roots rock stuff uh some ballads you know some tender tender and intimate wouldn't you yeah. say grant i'd say so yeah heart-wrenching and, and you're gonna play one of the song off that album yeah we're gonna play a tune off of that album that i wrote with larry wayne clark and uh it's a song called hero that uh, we were both very very proud to have written together and uh, thought it would be a fun tune to do so all right yeah let's hear you're it ready to go all right yeah. you ready grant yeah grant heckman on the slide guitar everybody Jenny Pearl was the prettiest girl in this no-account town But every time she tried to pick herself up, life would knock her back down She made a vow she was gonna get out, but that day never came She got tangled up with a traveling man, slick as a summer rain well, he talked real pretty and his eyes were dark and wide But he never gave her nothing but nothing Except a belly swelled with his child Oh, she cries at the moon While the prairie wind blows Saying all my life I've been stuck here waiting for a hero his hands will be strong And he'll walk straight and slow Well, look at him and I'll know He's my hero, yeah God, I'm looking for a hero to get me out of here Well, she worked all day for a factory wage At night she made the clothes a needle and thread till her fingers bled just to make a few dollars more 
But that boy grew up with his mama's love Wrapped around like a Superman cape He was lean and smart and he studied hard Till the words blurred on the page With the years they came and the scars they left were deep Tonight she'd wake up trembling Saying someone's got to rescue me Can someone rescue me? She cries at the moon While the prairie wind blows Saying all my life I've been stuck here Waiting for a hero Yeah, yeah Churchyard with weeds all overgrown. She stands in a captain's uniform, laying flowers on a cold gray stone. He says, Mama, I miss you. And in case you didn't know, every time I looked to you, I saw my hero. All your sacrifice So my dreams could grow I'm the man I am today Cause you're my hero Yeah, yeah She cries at the moon While the prairie wind blows Saying all oh, my life I've been stuck here waiting for a hero His hands will be strong and he'll walk straight and slow When look at him and I'll know He's my hero, yeah. Looking for a hero, yeah Can you find a hero, yeah Looking for my hero Great job. I remember, I remember when I heard that song at the uh, songwriter circle at the during Music NB Week. Yes, I was thinking, wow, I don't think I'll ever hear a more intimate version of that song. But I, I don't <laughs> think it gets in the back much, seat of your car. Yeah, yeah. I, unless we start playing in phone booths, I think this is about as uh, intimate performance as you can get. Yeah, and I don't think I've ever felt such warm, gushy feelings in the back seat of a car with <laughs> Grant ever before. So well, there you go. So uh, love you, man. This is the best time we've ever played in the back seat. By <laughs> Out of all those fifty performances yeah. or so, yeah. This, yeah. This pops up. Uh, I've played in a lot of back seats, but this one did the cake. You know, <laughs> that's touching. I feel, I feel that right here. Touching and creepy. Yeah. <laughs> so um, you're still touring around with this album, or have you been working on new material for maybe your next one? Or? Yeah, actually, uh, the hope is to uh, over the uh, course of the next few months uh, mm -hmm. hopefully not too long I'd like to actually release uh, maybe an EP of, of aco just acoustic tunes just kind of two acoustics me yeah. and Grant and maybe get a little mandolin or a little bit of fiddle here and there on it but mm -hmm. mostly you know just turn something out that would contrast kind of the big production album as well and frankly I need another another you know something I can shell at the merch table so <laughs> yeah. well, there you go. but I'd like to yeah I'd like to get something out for that and then probably in another it'll be a while before we put another big album out but I mean yeah. certainly before you know too long we'll have that acoustic EP out I hope as well so that's yeah. great so this is the album again Mike Bigger feels like now yes go go uh, go buy it go check it out and um, thanks a lot for doing this it was a lot of fun thanks Jeff Thank thanks so much man so, see you later everybody so that's it for this episode just musical car Mike Bigger See you next time.